Okay, so if you already have DX Dreams for main stage, then you've already got the samples you need, except perhaps for the Blair Masters Legacy Grand. Um, if you have Backstage Pass for main stage, you also have that as well. So I'm going to show you how to set everything up for contact. First things first, uh, open your music folder and then audio music apps. And then down here in the samples folder, you uh, most likely will have this set up right here. You've got DX streams and there's 107 items in there. And if you've got Backstage Pass, then you will also have the Blair Masters, let's see, where is it? There it is. Blair Masters Grand V1 E2 is most likely what your version's called. So keep that folder open. Now uh, open your downloads folder or wherever you have the contact versions you just downloaded. And this is going to include at least these two things, DX Dreams for Contact and Blair Masters Legacy Grand Samples. So first things first, uh, double click to open the zip file and you're gonna be left with this folder, DX Dreams for Contact. Now you can put this wherever you want. Uh, ideally, you're gonna to wanna to put it with your other sample libraries. So just for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna drag this down here to my uh, folder down here. So now what we're gonna do is we need to move some samples around. Um, you'll notice that there's no samples folder in here at the moment. So what you want to do is take your DX Dreams folder with all 107 uh, subfolders and drag that into here, DX Dreams for Contact. So now you've got this folder in here called DX Dreams. So you want to rename that, just call it Samples. And if you have Backstage Pass, then you're going to need to find the Blair Masters Legacy Grand folder, which in this case is right here. So if you do, take this, drag this into, hold it on top of that, drag it into the samples folder. Now in there, you should have, just click on the folder itself, you should have 108 items, uh, including that Blair Masters Grand uh, V1 E2 folder. If you don't already have that, then what you need to do is in your downloads, unzip the Blair Masters Legacy Grand samples. That's going to take a minute. Okay, so now you're going to be left with a folder called Blair Masters Legacy Grand, and that has uh, 616 samples in it. So what you're going to do is down here, you're going to drag this folder into this samples folder. Okay, so now in your DX Dreams for Contact samples folder, you should have 108 items. And if you do a get info, which is command I, it should total 33.17 gigabytes. Okay, so now you can open contact. Um, so now, before you open any sounds, note that because DX Dreams is not an encoded library, you will not see it in the library browser over here. So the way you load things is simply by drag and drop. Um, you go into each folder and, and drag and drop them. But before you do, the first thing you need to do is go over here to contact and let's do a batch resave. And you're gonna answer yes to this. And then what you want to do is you want to navigate to your DX Dreams for Contact folder, make sure it's selected, hit open. And what it's going to do is it's going to relink all of the instruments and samples. Should not take long. And let's let this finish. Now, what that does is it allows everything to load as fast as possible and uh, you should be good to go. So first things first, let's just try loading a sound. You just drag it from the finder right into contact. There you go. Um, let's see. Okay, so you can also load things directly from the load menu inside contact. Um, you can go to DX Dreams for contact and then instruments and then pick a subfolder and load a sound. There you go. Now, the multis are a special case. Uh, let me do it from here. 
these are all layered sounds that make use of uh, two or more individual sounds. And um, that's the only way to recreate the versions that are from main stage. So for example, Bananas Foster. This is an iconic piano and electric piano layer. So let's just drag it in here. Replace, you want to hit yes. There you go. Now you notice there's two different um, instruments here. Top one is the Blair Masters Legacy Grand. Bottom one is the electric piano layer from DX Dreams. So you can solo them. Here's um, just the, the Blair Masters piano. There's Foster's Dream. Um, now note this particular one has some reverb on it. That is in the output section here. Uh, so you can delete that if you want. Uh, let's see, you can just click empty and get rid of that if you want to use uh, you know, a reverb from your, your DAW. So now, what you are hearing is just the, the sounds. So as far as the interface itself, uh, every patch, you'll want to look at the PDF manual for explanations of everything. The top row of controls in all of these patches is EQ, bass, mid-frequency, mid-level, mid bandwidth, treble frequency, and treble boost and cut. Bottom row is uh, your three chorus parameters, chorus level. Let me, let me solo, let me do this to the piano because it'll be really obvious what I'm doing. Um, the, you're not gonna wanna add chorus to the piano unless you're going for like a CP70 effect, but. So there's your chorus level, chorus rate. You have to turn this up to hear it. Chorus depth. And then compression, which is compression mix control. That's going to give you more of a smack sound. Turn it all the way off and there's no compression. Compression ratio. And then the big thing is the AMS reverb. This is gonna add a little bit of that non-linear early reflection type thing. And, I, and you're just hearing this through this microphone, so it, you know, you're not hearing the direct sound, but every patch has that. And uh, so those are your basic controls. Um, so that's it. You know, if you wanted to load a different multi, um, let me show you something else. You're going to replace and answer yes. And now this one has a uh, another product, Model 85. That's from an upcoming library. I'll solo that. Those are some elements from uh, some... Japanese analog synths that uh, I sampled for another product coming up. So this one uses the Blair Masters Legacy Grand. It uses a patch from uh, Model 85. And it actually uses two. There's another one down here. This one is um, from a patch called Jump in 1999. I'll let you figure out what song that's from. So this one uses four layers. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. There's individual sounds, and then in the multi folder are the multi sounds. So uh, that's basically DX Dreams for Contact in a nutshell. Uh, not a whole lot to it. It's much much simpler than the main stage version um, because it has to be. <laughs> They're just two very different approaches. The main stage version is meant for live performance, so it has the big on-screen uh, control panel, which is uh, reflected on the iPad controller. None of that applies to the contact version because this is meant to be used in your DAW uh, one sound at a time, or even if you're using a multi like this, um, it's just multiple layers that, that are creating one big sound. So that's it. Hope this uh, gets you up and running. I hope you enjoy DX Dreams for contact. Uh, stay tuned. Make sure you join the the Backstage Pass Facebook group. There's a lot of great folks in there. Um, got a nice little community we're, we're growing there. And um, keep in touch because there's a lot more cool stuff coming. Uh, there you go. Okay, take care.